Grammarly.com in Surfer SEO are easily one of the most powerful one-two punch combinations for any type of blogger. Hey, what's up everybody? I hope you're having a great day. My name is David and in this video, I wanna showcase why you need to be using Grammarly.com and Surfer SEO and why it's a big mistake if you're not using these two tools. Let's get to it. Okay, so first off, what is Grammarly.com? It's both a website and an app that you can download and it primarily improves your spelling and grammar. Grammarly has a bunch of different integrations that you can use. You can download an actual app that spell checks anywhere you work online. They also have numerous browser extensions that you can take advantage of, or you can just create an account on Grammarly.com and then copy and paste your blog posts, your pieces of content within that website. So Grammarly currently offers a free plan and a premium plan. The free plan just allows you to improve your spelling and grammar, and the premium plan does everything the free plan does, but also offers full sentence rewrites. And that's really helpful because you tend to write in the same exact way using the same type of words. You tend to use words that are overused and Grammarly will jump in and switch out words and rewrite sentences to make everything more clear and concise. So I know what you're thinking, is the premium plan worth it? For me, I find it very much worth it because I love the full sentence rewrite feature. It makes my blog post a little bit more interesting and dynamic and it changes the sentence structure and uses different words. I really like it. But to each their own, it really just depends on your personal use case. What I would suggest is that you sign up for Grammarly Premium for maybe one month, try it out, see if you like it. If you like it, then pay for a full year up front. If you don't like it, then just revert back to the free version. All right, everyone, so let's jump into my laptop so I can show you what Grammarly.com is like and why you should be using it. I personally have a premium account with full sentence rewrites, so I'll show you what that is like. At a minimum, you definitely should be using Grammarly for free if you're a blogger. Anyways, let's get started. Welcome to Grammarly.com. So this is your dashboard. This is what you're going to be looking at once you create a brand new Grammarly account. Now, if we navigate over here to apps, this is where you have different apps for Grammarly. So you have Grammarly for Windows, which is what I'm currently using. So when you do that, you get this little icon over here that pops up on any writing within your PC, which is very helpful. So if we're taking a look over here, see how it highlights everything as red? That means I can click over here and then click and it just automatically changes the spelling and grammar for me. If I click over here, then it pops up with all the different suggestions, correctness, clarity, engagement, and delivery. So if I click down here, for example, it'll take me to like where it's making the change. If I click over there, highlights that and so forth. So it's really nice and convenient. I personally do all my blogging within Notion. I just like Notion a lot and I find it very intuitive. And that's it. So this is incredibly helpful because it just pops up whether or not you're writing an email, which is very helpful, uh, and writing a notepad, anything, it corrects your spelling. And if you want it to go away, all you have to do is right click it and just say quick Grammarly and then this little icon will disappear. Okay, so let's jump back over here to the Grammarly dashboard. So if you don't wanna do that and you wanna work within Grammarly itself, you can totally do that. So you have upload here. If you click on that, you can upload a document. We can just click over here to click on new document and then just copy and paste your blog post in. Then you can set the goals for the blog post. So domain, general, intent, describe, convince, tell a story, audience, knowledgeable, general expert. And this will change the suggestions it gives, formality, informal, neutral, and so forth. So just click on done. And then over here, it'll give an overall score. Uh, so you, it'll be anything from 50 to 99, whatever. Then I'll give you all suggestions down here for correctness, clarity, engagement about how to best improve this piece of content. Then you just navigate through this little item right there and click on things that you want to change. Now, again, with a free account with Grammarly, you get uh, spelling and punctuation suggestions, but with, pre with the premium version, you get this over here where you get full sentence rewrites. And that's why I like Grammarly Premium because I find that quite helpful because it just makes the writing a little bit more engaging and clear. And one final aspect of Grammarly that I do like is that they do provide a quick plagiarism check where you click this button and then Grammarly will scan the content and then tell you if it's plagiarized. So 100% of this text matches this specific blog post. Well, it should, it's mine that I wrote. But if you're hiring a writer, this is very helpful to know just to make sure you're not paying for plagiarized content. Okay, so that's it for Grammarly. Now let's take a look at Surfer SEO and see what it's like on the back end, the specific recommendations and features 
that you get access to with a Surfer SEO account and how you can use it to better optimize your blog posts so they rank better and you get more organic search traffic. Welcome to Surfer SEO. So this is your dashboard once you log into your account. Now the unique selling point of Surfer SEO is this content editor. Yes, you can do keyword research and yes, you can audit a blog post, but auditing a blog post and the content editor is, is functionally the same thing within Surfer SEO. Now you can write piece of content with AI or you can write it yourself. I suggest writing content yourself. This is what I do. I write a blog post. I publish it on my site. I let it exist for like six weeks. Then I log into Google Search Console. I see, I try and find pieces of content that are maybe on page six, seven, eight that need a little bit of optimization help. And then I come to Surf for SEO and plug those pieces of content in. So I go here, import content from a URL, plug in the URL, and then plug in the keyword that that piece of content is going after. And then boom, it loads this up, which is your uh, content editor. And it gives you a broad content score to tell you like how well you're doing compared to the competition. And then the structure over here, it tells you how many words, headings, paragraphs, and images you need. And this is very helpful where it tells you the specific search terms that you need to include. Because oftentimes you'll create a piece of content that you think is great and then you're like, oh yeah, I didn't even mention that. Like for example, like video resolution, I did not mention that at all in a blog post about best cameras for YouTube. So I was like, oh yeah, that's something I probably should add in. And over here with the outline, this is very helpful as well where you have additional titles, headings, and questions. And a lot of times these questions, you can incorporate this into your primary piece of content. But oftentimes these are just good standalone keyword phrases, long tail keyword phrases that you can then take, plug into a keyword research tool to see uh, if there's any search volume associated with these longer tail phrases, and then create a, dead, a whole nother dedicated piece of content. Anyways, that is Surfer SEO. So does Surfer SEO actually work? Is it actually worth the cost? And I would say yes. So this piece of content about the best cameras for YouTube, you can clearly see an inflection point. And the only changes I made to this piece of content were what Surfer SEO recommended. And you can clearly see a jump in average position as well as total impressions. Okay, so that's it for this video on Grammarly.com and Surfer SEO and why you need to be using these two tools to better optimize your content. Grammarly is outstanding for improving your spelling, your grammar, and the premium plan gives you full sentence rewrites that makes your content more dynamic and interesting and just makes everything more clear and concise. Then Surfer SEO just tells you what to do to make your content more optimized so it actually ranks within Google so you get that organic search traffic that you can convert in some meaningful way. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on Grammarly.com and Surfer SEO and why you need to be using these two tools together to better optimize your content. Anyways, I'll leave it there. My name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.